everybody how's it going got a collection update for you uh, massive CD haul uh, I thought about not doing this and maybe splitting it up but I think I'm just gonna show everything I, I picked up recently and I have some other video ideas I'm gonna come up with and a couple other things I need to show here very soon but one of them in the background I could cross off my wish list actually there's four death metal albums from 1992 that I could cross off my wish list and this is one of them Nocturnus Thresholds fucking love this album this is a reissue from uh, Earache but I'm just glad to have a copy I, actually all these are either a bootleg or a fucking uh, reissue uh, I don't mind that kind of stuff I, I'd love to have the OG presses but um, I'm not gonna pay crazy amounts of money for for stuff that I could just as well enjoy on a reissue so there you have it um, but this album right here is one of the early death metal albums I got to listen to that got me into death metal back in the day I've only uh, possessed the um, by Nocturnus. Back in the day I had a cassette that had uh, both albums on the cassette. One side had the key, the other side had this gym. The song playing in the background was called Nocturne in B minor. I love the synth work in it. Really sounds ice cold, horror themed, killer shit. I always love this band just because they have synth work in it. I love the synth work in their music. And especially the first two albums. It's amazing shit. If you don't know much about Nocturnus, of, uh, of course it was formed by Mike Browning that was the original vocalist for Morbid Angel. So there you have it. 1992, what a fucking gem. Tone, the fucking solos of this is fucking killer. It's that. Fucking killer album. So I will post links if you do not know that album. Hopefully you do. And if you don't, it's a new one to listen to. So today, I was so stoked when I found this. I was so damn stoked and I bought it for cheap. And then I uh, posted it on Instagram. In the back of my head, I was like, how in the hell is this that cheap? Uh, this is monstrosity. Imperial Doom, which is another 1992 album that I've been looking for for a long goddamn time because if you look this one up on Discogs or anything, you'll find out that um, they want your left nut and maybe your your eye and, and part of your ear to buy this motherfucker. So it's pretty expensive. But it turns out this is a bootleg. This is a Russian bootleg. And it absolutely sounds amazing. I'm going to play a little bit for you. It just blows my mind how good this album sounds still to this day. I've never seen a CD version of it, so I, it took me a minute to realize it was a bootleg. But it's a fucking phenomenal album. Of course, it's got Corpse Grinder in there from Cannibal Corpse. Everybody knows this. Here's what the CD looks like itself. This is what really kind of got me wondering because uh, UPC code is in purple. That doesn't make sense. But uh, the book looks pretty good. Got all the lyrics and everything. You know, like I said, I've never seen a CD copy of this before uh, in my hands. I've seen people show it, of course, but never had a copy in my hands. It doesn't matter. For some damn reason, this thing fucking sounds amazing. Uh, I remember back in the day, I always loved the drum tone on this album. I think this is the best vocal performance uh, Corpse Grimerder ever did, honestly. 
I mean, I'll, don't get me wrong, I like the Cannibal Corpse stuff, but his mo his vocals flow better with Monstrosity, if you ask me. Um, and I'll play a little bit of it. Fucking Darkest Dreams is my favorite track on that. Look at that disc. Fucking cool. Nocturnus to the thresholds, but play a little bit of this in case you do not know this, but hopefully you, a lot of people is looking for this motherfucker, so. Man, I was so stoked to see this motherfucker. But the, I'll play a little bit of it. mind that it's not a bootleg for as cheap as I bought it it doesn't matter to me but uh, of course that track is Imperial Doom my favorite track is the last track Darkest Dream I'll fucking love that the drums on this is fucking awesome I think in my opinion this is some of my favorite death metal not my opinion this is what I think is the best death metal drumming I've ever heard I love the style he plays I love how he hits the drums I love how punchy the kick drums are, how crisp the, the cymbals are. I love the guitar work in this, the guitar solos in this. This is an absolute fucking masterpiece released in 1992. Get yourself a copy if you can. Uh, I just got lucky. But yeah, Monstrosity, Imperial Doom. So more shit I, I got to cross off my list. I'm a little bit excited because that, that fucking album hypes me up this, if I, I always want to make top death metal lists but I always want to show shit that I actually have this album is probably in my top five uh, now that I have a copy I, you know, I kind of wonder if I should redo my goddamn list it's a fucking phenomenal goddamn death metal album another one I can cross off my list is uh, it's a reissue don't give a shit um I'd love to have the OG, of course, but this is a uh, seance for never laid to rest. It comes in this really cool slip case. This is a old skull series on black mark. And uh, I need to put those away, but anybody has seen like my Swedish death metal or anything like that. I talk about this album every time wanting to find a copy. Um, I've ordered this album several times online and it seems to always get canceled and uh, finally I found a copy and um, I got it when it came when I saw it was shipped I was freaking dancing uh, a little bit about sounds this is Swedish death metal Swedish fucking death metal but it doesn't sound like Swedish death metal <laughs> this motherfucker sounds like a cross between the immolation and deicide this album is a fucking badass motherfucker. Just as good as this motherfucker right here. Uh, 1992. Every freaking track on this is badass. Their album after this is just as good as this one, but I prefer this one. Uh, I love the artwork to it. What the CD itself it looks like. Old Skull series. Love it. And it comes with a killer ass uh, little mini poster, I guess. I keep that with the artwork. I love this fucking artwork. Always have. Always love this artwork. Um, I was so excited when I got this in the mail that I, I sent a picture of it to several of my friends in the VC. Uh, I was just so damn happy to get this fucker. But yeah, it reminds me a lot like the sound of it reminds me like early emulation like Dawn of Possession crossed with maybe maybe Once Upon a Cross by DSI. That's what it sounds like. Fucking amazing Swedish death metal right here. 
probably one of the best. And uh, all these albums were released in 92. Holy fuck, I should have did a, I should have just showed all my 92 fucking releases because I got a shitload of Death Metal from 1992. Seance for Never Laid to Rest, fuck yes. I might, yeah, if I can, I'm gonna play a little bit of it. That's what I do. I got several CDs to show. I might split the, the damn video up. Um, I have a bunch of ideas for other videos and, and some people sent me some CDs I need to show soon as well, but behold, bad ass. Fuck yes. cross off my list and it's another old skull series from black mark uh flesh crawl fuck yes absurd what is it a descend into the absurd i almost said it backwards uh i remember back in the day when i first heard this album i was a big fan of of course incantations onward to golgotha and this album when i first heard this i heard this a little bit after incantation uh even though these albums were released the same year they have a similar sound, so um, they have the speedy death metal and the doomy moments. Absolutely love this fucking artwork. Of course, Flesh Crawls from Germany, um, if I didn't say it, released in 1992, again. This is phenomenal death metal, and this is a pretty long fucking album. The tracks are pretty progressive, really. Uh, the vocals are fucking amazing. Another one where the drums are fucking insanely good and well produced. That's what the CD looks like and the Old Skull series. And it comes with the fucking poster. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I just recently discovered these Old Skull series shit from, I might have to look this up and get, get more of this. I fucking love these, these CDs. These are fucking awesome. And they sound fucking amazing to boot. And uh, look at that. Fucking phenomenal. I'm gonna play a little bit of this as well, but you gotta hear this shit while I'm so. stuff is what reminds me of ventilation by the way and then the vocals have that big ESI fucking sound on the seance but I'm gonna play you a little bit of flesh crawl holy fuck if you don't know this band I know many of you do I've seen many people show this album it's not any of these are not unknown they're just fucking hard to find and uh I finally got copies of them to put in my collection and make me a fucking happy man because I love my death metal fucking bullshit I applied to, oh, the first track is actually in, instrumental, so I'll skip that.
fucking snare and that. I fucking love the snare sound. His vocals, and you hear how it speeds up and breaks down just like uh, Incantation does. Of course, 1992. Another fucking badass goddamn fucking death metal album from that year. Uh, next up, I got several show. I don't know if I should do them all, but I'm going to fucking. So, found this. This is Realm, Endless War. I've been looking for another, I've been, it's another one I've been looking for a copy that I could cross off my wish list. This is a 2006 Roadrunner reissue, I believe. Uh, or Metal Mind. Yeah, it's Metal Mind, but it has the Roadrunner logo on it as well. It's the Gold Disc, disc Edition. This is a phenomenal thrash metal album. I think they're from Wisconsin, if I remember right. I could be wrong, but it seems like that's where they're from. Of course, I love the artwork, Realm, Endless War. I always thought it was a Trojan horse, but it looks like a Robo horse. Um, just lyrics in there. Very good packaging. Pictures of the dudes. I believe they have two albums. This is their uh, debut. And it fucking, fucking slams. It comes with this order form. It has Centrix and um, several bands. I, that's another one I need to cross off my list. That's the next one I'm going to be looking for. Um, definitely that one. I think I have everything else. Pestilence, maybe I don't have that one. I have that Disc Incarnate. But this is fucking killer. Uh, I listened to this like three or four times in a row the other night when I finally got a copy. I've been listening to it online. I've never actually had a physical copy of this album. Uh, my friends did. I listened to it when they listened to it. But now that I finally have a copy of this, I'm so damn fucking stoked. So what do they sound like? They're very thrashy, very technical, with some power metal vocals. That's the best way to say it. I think um, if you're a fan of Toxic, the band, the thrash metal band Toxic, this band kind of reminds me of that. I think I may play a little bit of this for you. And then the rest of them I'm not going to play anything from. I'll just let the realm play in the background. But holy fuck, there's a guitar solo on that first track that fucking slays. Um, the Beatles cover they do on their Eleanor Rigsby is fucking killer. Um, just so much goodness in this fucking album. I believe it's a Christian band, if I remember right. I believe they are. Fucking fantastic fucking thrash metal, I'm telling you. This is fucking badass shit. guitar so I love I hope I get well, I might just play it as soon as it hits that guitar solo on this those dive bombs in that holy fuck I was pick kick back in that chair listen to this thing full blast and those kick that fucking dive bomb comes in like holy fuck I'm gonna keep talking about this album until that fucking solo comes on I think it's coming up not yet but this is the title track, Endless War. I love that track. Um, there's every fucking song. Every fucking song on this album is a goddamn banger. I'd like to find this on vinyl, but I got a physical copy in my hands. Here's the solo.
on this one. But fuck it, I don't care. Badass shit. Oh, there it is. That is pure fucking metal. Badass. God damn, do I want to show the rest of these? Yep. Shit. Okay, so I'm gonna make a part two. I'm gonna show the rest of these CDs I got in another, in that part two. Because this is too much shit to fucking talk about in one video. I think um, I showed, what, five albums? That's good enough, and the rest of these, I don't want to fly through them, I want to visit each album. I haven't really got the chance to listen to a couple of them, because they're new to me. Um, so, I'm going to leave that, this video where it's at, I'll pick up on line uh, part two later on. I'm a little bit fucking hyper, so I drank a fucking 300 milligram goddamn caffeine soda pop. I'm not in Michigan, only uh, Scott will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Talk to you later. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.